Artist D and today I am so excited to be back with another Conspiracy Theories video. Today's video is going to be centered around TV shows and or movies that predicted the future and then those future predictions actually came true. So I'm very excited considering the fact that a lot of these were very recent and I saw these on Twitter but I looked up the actual videos and footage and did research and like Oh my gosh, this is going to leave you shook, especially the first one which I'm going to be talking about, which is also the title of this video. But I just want to point out that I do not know whether or not the people behind these TV shows or movies knew about these previously, or they just guessed, or, you know, it was just a coincidence, right? That is up to your discretion, that's up to you to decide. The Simpsons, in the year 2000, predicted that Donald Trump would win presidency, okay? That sounds a little ironic, okay, huh, whatever, yeah, 16 year difference, that's what's crazy, right? No, this is the part that left me shook. In this clip, you will notice that Donald Trump, in real life, and then the cartoon version 16 years ago on the Simpsons episode, they are riding down an escalator, but take a look at their hand gestures. They are waving with the same arm to the crowd, and then with the other arm, they are signaling. Pretty much at the same time, in both real life and the character version, 16 years ago, the version in real life, that was him the day that he announced his presidency, that he would be running for office, okay? Take a look at the sign in the background. It falls around the same time, and the person holding the sign seems to be wearing the same outfit as the person in real life, as well as the person next to them in the cartoon version, as compared to the real life version. Very similar outfits. The bodyguards are in the same position. I don't know about you, but that creeps me out. That left me feeling very eerie. That gave me chills. I don't know if that was a paid actor or not in the real sketch versus the comedic one on The Simpsons. I don't know. I don't know how it's coincidence, put it that way. And many may argue that it is, but try to tell me that once I'm through with this video because there's a lot more where that came from. Illuminati symbolism? Maybe so. Which brings me to our second conspiracy theory movie that predicted the future, which is actually Back to the Future, which came out in the 1980s, a very popular movie. And in that movie, when they were time traveling in the future in the past, the Cubs won the World Series in 2015. I know what you're thinking, the Cubs didn't win last year, they won this year, but hear me out for a second. The Cubs haven't won a World Series in 108 years. The fact that anybody predicted that at all, by chance, is a little bit nuts to me. Only a year off, that's still spot on. Spot on. So the person behind this movie, honestly, like my personal opinion is that I think they just got really lucky with that and that's a total ironic coincidence, but you never know. This next one is really crazy. This one has Illuminati written all over it. The Simpsons TV show in 2008 predicted Prince's death, or I should say, Illuminati sacrifice. If you guys have read up on Prince at all and his death, you know that there are a lot of conspiracy theories behind it. He knew he was going to die before he died. He didn't sleep for six days before his death and when he died, it was pretty mysterious. There was a lot of things that didn't really add up, didn't really make a lot of sense. He was very outspoken and he knew too much. On the episode in 2008 of The Simpsons, Homer was ordered to kill Prince by music executives because he wasn't doing what they wanted him to do. The first TV show that talks about where Osama bin Laden was hiding was Scrubs in the year 2006. It was season six, episode seven, and the janitor on the show, he said, and I quote, in my opinion, we should be looking for bin Laden in Pakistan. Nobody thought much of it until five years later when they found him in Pakistan. Shortly after Obama confirmed his capture, Scrubs fans came out with this clip and they were like, how do you explain this? How did they know this ahead of time? Is there something you guys aren't telling us? Like, they literally called that on national television. The writers of the show, they came out and they were like, honestly, we just got lucky. That just was a coincidence. But was it though? Was it really? All these TV shows combined really makes me kind of aggravated how all these people just had really good luck guessing. This next one is probably one of the most accurate that I will be talking about in this entire video. It is Family Guy predicting the Boston bombing in 2013, 29 days before it happened. The Boston Massacre took place April 25th, 2013. Three people died, a bunch were severely injured. There were also shootings after the bombing. And that happened on the show with Peter. Peter, he was on the phone and then it set off a bomb and then 
yeah, you might think, okay, whatever, that's sort of a coincidence. The show takes place in Massachusetts. But no. The majority of this episode was centered around the fact that Peter was accidentally becoming involved in terrorism. After people made this connection, it created a huge uproar, and a lot of people were questioning that Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy, might have Illuminati ties, and the internet was just blowing up. People were not happy because people literally died, and this could have been prevented, possibly. In 2009, Family Guy predicted Bruce Jenner's gender change, and Stewie on the show insisted that Bruce Jenner was, in fact, a woman. Now, this was years before Bruce Jenner's coming out, and since Seth MacFarlane has been questioned as to how he knew that, considering there were a lot of speculations that Bruce Jenner was transgender, it makes sense that he could have guessed that, but going along with the last conspiracy theory, I don't buy it at all. I definitely think that there is some Illuminati confirmation going on on there and that somebody knew something before they should have and they put it out there with some subliminal messages out there in these little cartoon shows so that brings us to our last and final conspiracy theory in the year 2000 on saturday night live there was an episode that aired which ties into not only the conspiracy theory behind 9 11 but osama bin laden's hiding space which was pakistan as i mentioned earlier so in this episode i'm going to show the clip but there was a sequence of different pictures images and the person that's talking to about them. He's mentioning gasoline and Bush and then he shows the Twin Towers and later on he shows an airplane and then there's a clip where he shows Osama bin Laden and right after they show Pakistan on the screen. I don't understand how else that just happens to be in the sequence of things. Now keep in mind this is before Bush was president. This was 11 years before they found Osama bin Laden in Pakistan and years before the Twin Towers crashed. So that is a lot of coincidences in one little segment of SNL. Am I saying that they knew about this previous to it happening? Maybe. I don't know. I just think that's honestly too big of a coincidence for me. This is the one that I just saw no way of adding up in any direction other than it is what it looks like. Somebody knew beforehand. Illuminati confirmed. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave your opinions expressed below in the comments because honestly I want to know what you guys think. If you guys believed any of these, please be sure to leave me what numbers you thought were true and what numbers you thought were bullshit. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to sub to my channel because I put out new videos all the time. Also, feel free to follow my social media. I'll have my links on here, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, alligators. Bye.